Hello, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to make this leaf stitch. For this tutorial, we will be doing double crochet, chain stitches, and a back pose double crochet right here. Okay, I made this two sample in two different yarn size. For this one is yarn number four right here see for this one is yarn number four and this is what it looked like and for this one i made it in a really thin uh, thread for this stitch i highly recommend you to do it now in solid color if you use um, short variegated yarn the pattern is going to look very busy um, and you won't be able to see the leaves like this. So let's begin. Um, for this pattern, it is a multiple of 10. For this tutorial, I will be doing um, chain 20. So I have 20 chains already. I'm going to start a foundation. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. This chain three is a consider of one double crochet. So right here, we're going to do another double crochet in the same spot. So two double crochet, we are going to do another double crochet in here. So three double crochet in one spot. Chain three, one, two, three, yarn over. I'm going to count four chain one two three four on the fourth one I will be doing a incomplete double crochet in this chain I'll show you what I mean okay you pull two yarn only yarn over next chain you're going to do another incomplete double crochet yarn over pull two yarn only okay yarn over next one you're going to do another incomplete double crochet so you notice you have three incomplete double crochet yarn over and you're gonna grab all the yarn on your hook like that you notice the peak is down here and there's a peak right here they're opposite chain three one two three okay yarn over you're going to repeat this over here count four chain one two three four right here three complete double crochet in this spot one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three. You are going to repeat this one over here with three incomplete double crochet. Yarn over, count four, chain one two three four okay pull two yarn only yarn over go to the next chain pull your yarn and pull two yarn only yarn over go to the next chain and pull two yarn only now yarn over we are going to pull all the yarn on the hook like this chain three one two three. next we are going to go to the last stitch and we are going to repeat this yarn over do three double crochet here in same stitch one
two. Symmetrical, turn your work over. Next, uh, round two, you are going to take your hook and do a slip stitch in here, like this. Okay, chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet in this next chain double crochet in the next chain so you have a total of three double crochet this chain three is considered one double crochet so you have three double crochet okay chain three one two three for this one you are going to do a back post double crochet. So yarn over, take your hook right here, and take your hook right here, and you're going to do a back post double crochet. Pull your yarn like this. See? Chain three. One, two, three. Let me show you. This part right here is like this one. You are starting a leaves right here, okay? After the chain three, you're going to do three individual double crochet. One, two, Three. Chain three, one, two, three. You're going to repeat this part right here, over here. Take your hook, poke here, and poke through here, like this. Okay, like this. Chain three, one, two, three. Three double crochet, one, another double crochet on the next chain, third double crochet is right here, okay, this is what you have so far, turn your work over. Take your hook and do a slip stitch in here, like this. The reason I like to do a slip stitch right here and then start my chain three because um, then it look together. So if I d normally, normally um, people would do um, like a chain three, one, two, three, and then they're gonna do a double crochet like this. It look, it it look like th there's too much space here. That is why I like to do a slip stitch in here before I start. That is uh, why I like to do a slip stitch right here, so that. Um, they're staying together for this one is right here okay so right here because the peak is on the top everything is half remember that we did the half double half three double crochet so because of that there because all of them are half you only do chain two one two okay because chain three is a complete double crochet. So everything is half, so you will do chain two only. Okay. Do a incomplete double crochet. Pull two yarn only. Yarn over, go to the next chain and do an incomplete double crochet. Pull two yarn only. 
and now you are going to do yarn over and you are going to grab all three of them like this you see now you have one leaves chain three one two three this part right here is a beginning of the flower okay so I'm going to show you do three double crochet in here one two three see this part is kind of like a repeat of this part right here chain three one two three do three incomplete double crochet right here just like this okay pull two only yarn over go to the next chain pull two only go to the next chain pull two only grab all the yarn yarn over grab all the yarn and pull all of them chain three one two three do you notice that you're starting to see um, uh, the leaves forming okay right here is a repeat right here three double crochet in here one two three chain three one two three do three incomplete double crochet and grab them together so pull two yarn over to the next chain pull two only yarn over this part right here you count one two so you do right here pull two grab all of them together and pull them like this chain six one two three four five six you see one double crochet chain three space that's what you do because we are starting a new leaves yarn or chain six yarn over we this one right here is right here so we are going to do three double crochet just like this one just three regular double crochet okay one two three okay chain three one two three we are going to do a back post double crochet so you're going to take your hook poke here and poke through here like this pull your yarn double crochet okay this is a repeat of this part right here chain three one two three we're doing a three double crochet it's a middle part of the leaves so this is the beginning of the leaf middle part of the leaves and then the end of the leaf is when we graph the um the the double the, the graph the double crochet together two three chain three one two three So this is the beginning of the leaf, the middle part of the leaf, and this is the end of the leaf. I'm going to do a double crochet right here, okay? See? You, you notice? Double crochet, chain three, this chain six right here. See? Like this. 
Okay. Turn your work over. Chain three. One, two, three. We are going to repeat this part right here. You see the double crochet? Three double crochet in one spot. So you have one double crochet already. Two double crochet. Oh. And three double crochet. Chain three. One two, three. Okay, this is the beginning of the leaves, the middle of the leaves. Now we're going to do three incomplete double crochet, one incomplete, two incomplete, three incomplete. We're going to grab all the yarn, pull it, now you have one leaves, okay? Round one, two, and three. See? Okay. Chain three. One, two, three. We are going to repeat this part right here to here. Three double crochet in one spot. One. Two, three. Chain three, one, two, three. Okay, we are going to repeat this part over here. Three incomplete double crochet and grab them together. So one, two, and three. Grab all of them together and pull. Chain three. One, two, three. Okay. Count three space. We are going to repeat this part over here. So yarn over. Count three space. One, two, three. Put your hook right here. And do three double crochet in here. One, two, and three. Like this, okay? So do you notice after this, it is going to be a repeating pattern? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just look back and follow the um, the, the repeat pattern of it or rewind my video. So if you have any questions, please put your question in the comment and I will answer them. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next video.